People think Jane and Finch is a bad place to be. They think there's gangs and violence. Uh, I have been working off and on in Jane Finch for probably 35 years. And um, one of the things that stands out in my head is some years ago, I was, uh, my company was contracted to develop a train-the-trainer program for police officers from around the province. The officer who was assigned to come and speak with some people in Jane Finch was an officer who was from the Ottawa Police Service. And his first question to me was, do I have to take my Glock? And I kind of looked at him and I thought he was joking. And he wasn't because his image of Jane Finch was the image that's portrayed across this country. If you end up treating someone like a monster, they're gonna end up like one. Imagine someone telling you you're crazy every day. Eventually, you're gonna start believing it. Like, you don't need a gun to walk around, Jane Finch. We were seen as beasts, but we're simply just humans. This is Jane Finch, and this is my home. I don't think there are uh, many community centers in Jane and Finch. I know only of Driftwood Community Center. There should be more community centers at the Jane and, and Jane and Finch, um, at Jane and Finch, where the youth can go there to study, play, and be mentored. I'd like to see less judgment and more people being accepted for who they are. Uh, the youth in the um, in the uh, neighborhood uh, needs a lot of programs in the community. The youth spend much time um, on the streets and uh, in the malls because of lack of programs and recreational grounds in the community. Parents are working so many hours, hence the youth hung around bad peers. This is Jane and Finch, and this is my My Jane and Finch is a great place to live, a great place to work, and a place that more people should visit and live. My Jane and Finch is a very vibrant community. It is a very multicultural uh, uh, society. It is a community with many young, talented boys and girls. My Jane and Finch is a place where you can be wild and free. It's full of beautiful faces and exceptional personalities. A place where you can grow and become a star. A place where you'll be accepted no matter who you are. My Jane and Finch is where I work. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This is Jane and Finch. This is our home.
under the pain. Our homes, our families, our friends, painted over with words of judgment that bring our dreams to an expected end. Under the paint, expectations and news of death that would make even the kindest of people faint. We are wild and we are free. We work hard no matter what people murmur on the streets. There are people here who have succeeded in life, even after the drips and splatters of strife. They say we are this, they say we are that, even though most of us could make it to the moon and back. We are the city of Atlantis, but the motto of the reporters is ignorance and bliss. And that motto is as same as ever. I believe in the kindness of strangers, even after the published articles expressing their dangers. Our city can apparently kill from miles away. Day after day, they fade us away. The layers of their red paint may mask our potential and willpower. But just like a flower, one day we will bloom, and we will be the brightest in the room. You'll paint over us, but we are still here. The paint is opaque, but our souls are crystal clear.